well good afternoon YouTube and welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels today I'm uh, on the cob and I'm uh, just popping out to get some petrol and uh, just make sure everything's okay on the bike I've cleaned up the uh, chain and oiled it I checked the oil as best I could I must admit the little uh, inspection window is pretty difficult to get down to sea properly when uh, when you've got bad knees like I have <laughs> but still I managed uh, okay so all's good with that tire pressures are fine as I say just having a quick bimble around then I'm going to fill up with petrol and get ready for uh, the meetup on Wednesday with Graham Chronicles of Dot James Ainsworth Rider and uh, Calm Biker so uh, yeah and I think another one is joining us as well there's going to be four of us I believe all together so it should be quite an interesting uh, ride I'm right looking forward to it we're going to be meeting James at uh, the um, Booth's supermarket at Ilkley or just outside Ilkley and then from there we're going to make our way across up to uh, up to uh, Friedythorpe, well Stamford Bridge first now this is going to be a pretty short video I'm, uh, I'm only going to be about uh, 10 or 15 minutes on uh, on the actual episode but uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, give a shout out to uh, somebody who's had a pretty rough time just lately um, chap I've been watching on YouTube by the name of Rog on uh, his channel Aldi and Gold now he does some absolutely fantastic rides all around Yorkshire and he seems to be really well informed he does his research and he tells you all about grade 2 listed buildings what went on in in the history of the area and lots of little snippets of pretty useful information and quite interesting information at that now Rog unfortunately was setting off to do a bit of a video and uh, was involved in an accident and unfortunately uh, he suffered a pretty badly broken right leg uh, in his video you can see he shows his leg there all caged up in this incredible amount of scaffolding and uh, very painful it looks too so Rog if you're watching this my greatest sympathies to you mate I hope you're back on the road sooner than, uh, than you think because uh, from what you were saying you're expecting to be 12 or 18 months off I really hope not for your sake um, I hope that it heals a lot quicker and that you're out of pain very very soon all the best to you mate now for those of you who haven't uh, followed uh, Oldie and Gold I'll put a link at the bottom of this video so that you can uh, see who I'm talking about and honestly his videos are really very very interesting so if you get the opportunity tune in and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it Now one thing I'm not going to comment on for fear of jinxing things is the fact that the weather's been uh, quite good for the last few days but uh, I'm not going to comment on the fact that we've had sunshine for the last three days nor am I going to comment on the fact that it's been uh, in the 18 to 20 temperature gauge but I'm not going to comment on that because I don't want to jinx it 
But having said that, <laughs> I think I probably already have. This is Golden Acre Park, just on uh, my left hand side and uh, very popular it is too a couple of lakes there although I'd say one of them is more of a pond than a lake but still very nice to have a walk around there Another very pleasant little lane to follow. I've been down this one several times though, it's nothing new. But even so, it's still very nice. So anyway, as I rejoin Arthington Road again, I'll uh, bring this video to a close. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed that little lane. And I hope you'll give uh, Aldi and Gold a watch and a bit of support. So I'll finish off in my usual way by saying, look after yourselves. Look after the people around you. And until next time, bye for now. Bye.